Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am very excited for today's video. I recently went to the thrift store and I had a very, very good run. I found some amazing vintage pieces, some amazing pieces that I'm very excited to share with you guys. I just thought, I had so much good stuff. I was like, let's just do an actual vintage haul. We're also gonna make it a try on haul so we can see how everything fits. Some of this stuff I did do like a little DIY already and a lot of this stuff I plan on DIYing so I'll also let you know my full vision. I'm gonna start with this blouse right here. This was definitely one of those eye-catching pieces that just kind of, you know, jumps off the rack. So this isn't obviously your everyday blouse. It's like this sheer, like see-through, can you see me? But it's gold and it's metallic. I don't know if that'll show on camera or not, but it's got this metallic-y shiny-ness going on, which is very fun. It's actually from Ann Taylor. This is a size medium, so it's like a little oversized. I already envisioned this styled so many different cool ways. I mean, you could obviously wear it like an overshirt, like wear it open on top of something. I mean, this would honestly kind of be cool on top of my dress. Like maybe tie it like a wrap tie. There's so many cool things you can do. With a blouse, blouses are very universal. And then I think I'm just gonna talk about this right here, my little stripey pieces. I'm noticing my style change so much, but recently I've been into pinstripe. You guys know I wear pinstripe blouses all the time. And so pinstripe pants I've been getting into as well. So these are these like high-waisted, they're super long, just like flowy sort of beach pants. They're from Liz Sport. They're actually a petite collection, which is perfect for me. So they fit amazing. And they're like a very thin sort of comfortable fabric. So I will be perfect in the summer with this. So yeah, I also just in general love like striped pants. The long stripes definitely make your legs look a lot longer. I think I talked about that in a video before. And then I also got two pinstripe blouses. Pinstripe blouses, honestly, they're a big trend right now. And I know tons of stores sell them. When I go thrifting, I find like 50 of them in every single color so I would highly recommend if you like the pinstripe blouse trend you should definitely hit up the thrift store I actually find them in the guys section funny enough I do a lot of shopping in the guys section so these are both from the guys section this one's actually from J crew and I got it in a size large um, I kind of like the large ones just because I think the oversized it looks really cute if you just have like a little white t-shirt and some shorts underneath or if you were to wear it as a dress. This one's actually like a stiffer more like dress shirt where this one that I have is like a flowier like beach shirt which I honestly like these ones better. And then this one is from Classic Elegance. It's more fitted it like stops at like my waist so it's like a nice like actual shirt size. So this one you can like, you know, tie in the front like a little wrap top or you could just wear it as an overshirt. This next piece that I have is very interesting. I found this in the women's like business part where they have like matching suits. Just sort of like a 80s, 90s uh, classy office wear, you know. This is from actually Liz Claiborne and it's just this button up cropped dress shirt or I don't know if it's supposed to be like an outerwear sort of top or if it's supposed to be worn as an actual shirt. I'm not sure. It's very, very pretty. I like it a lot. I think it's really cool. So yeah, I guess you could just sort of wear it as like a button up, just like a shirt with like a cute pair of like mom jeans. This would be cute. I found, look how adorable that is. Um, I found this sunshine yellow little flowy romper. I think this is the cutest, most adorable thing I've ever purchased with my money. Um, so it's got a button up sort of top with the collar and then it cinches at the waist and it's got your little button It's got little pockets. I think this piece is so cute. I cannot wait to wear this I don't know where I'm gonna wear this. I'll definitely have to wait till it's like a little bit warmer outside So I had such an amazing find I was actually looking again in the men's section I was looking in the hoodies, which is where I find like all my like champion hoodies and stuff like that and then I saw this like grayish blue velvet and I was like What's that? Um, and then I started seeing the GG and I was like, what is that? It is this Gucci velvet, like this bluish gray crushed velvet jumpsuit. So I had both the hoodie and the sweatpants. I got it for $14. Now I'm not really sure if it's real or fake. I'm not going to say either one because I don't know. Um, but either way, I'm still happy with the find. Like, it's still really cool. The sweatpants are, like, way too big for me. But I do plan on wearing the sweater. I just sort of plan on wearing it, you know, maybe, like, open. Another amazing find is a pair of Levi's shorts. OG 
vintage Levi's. I always, almost every single time I go thrifting, I buy a pair of vintage Levi's. I don't know how I find them so easily. These came pre-distressed. I didn't do anything to them. They were already cut, already distressed, which is great because most of the time I do personally have to like cut or distress mine because they look sort of like weird, but... Um, I love the color. They're like a medium wash. They're not light wash, but they're not dark wash either, which I like this. They fit really great. They fit sort of like slouchy, which I kind of like that because they're just like a lot more comfortable. And then I got these, which I have to give my mom credit. My mom found these polo pants. Um, well, they're like capris, but I'm going to DIY cut and distress them into shorts. So they have like this cool strap on the side, which I'm going to cut right below it because I do want to keep that. Um, so they'll definitely still be almost like capris like they'll be pretty long I don't have a lot of dark wash denim especially in shorts So it's really great to have these maybe I don't even know if I'll cut them because I mean they're honestly kind of cool And I don't have any capris. I might just leave them as capris. I might try You know what we may be trying something new. I might keep these we'll see I'll try them on and see how lame they look um, and if it's like not that lame, then I might just keep them. I found this skirt again in like the business section where they have like all the business suits and stuff. So this print has been a print I've been loving lately. It's just like this very high-waisted sort of long skirt. It's like this weird mid-length. I definitely have like a matching jacket with the same print. So I think that that would be really cool to like wear this with the jacket with just like a cute little undershirt. That is it. We've made it through the pile. We have finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this little vintage haul. I hope that maybe this gave you some fashion inspiration or inspired you to go thrifting because thrifting is a very magical thing. I find it such amazing things if you guys want more thrifting related videos like maybe like some tips on thrifting or like like a come thrifting with me I don't know leave a comment below with some ideas give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you guys like videos like this or even just more try on hauls make sure to subscribe to my channel I post videos every Tuesday and every Friday I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video Mwah.